Hi, my name is Roberto Delgado Mendez. I am presenting my LA final project. I'm in LA for trigonometry, and I created a trigonometry study guide slash test example to help uh, students who struggle with studying understand the questions a lot better. I split it up into questions, answers, and explanations of answers. Because a lot of times, sometimes you can get a little confused and don't know what where you went wrong especially when some of the testing we've been using this semester on alex doesn't let you show work so you can't get it's a little hard to get partial credit so how this how this uh potential would work would be there would be around 10 to 20 questions i've utilized um just 10 because this is an example there'd be 10 to 20 questions on at the beginning of the semester that students would take, they won't know anything. This would just be for participation. Then they would get a study guide of the questions. I would show like this, the questions, the answers, and an explanation of the answers. Then they would take the test again, but with different numbers. So it would be similar and it would be what they studied. So they, they wouldn't uh, necessarily have the issue of overstudying or something else, but let's go over it. So um, question one, let's zoom in. It just talks about matching uh, the representation for the signs of X and Y in each quadrant. And we can go to the answer and look at that. There we go. And I'll show you what the correct answer is and why the answer was the answer it was. And I think this is a great tool because it helps students just overall understand the concept, concepts better and it helps create a map for them that they can utilize whether the numbers are switched or not. And uh, I just grabbed a random set of questions. Obviously it would probably be a little different in a, when a teacher or a professor would utilize this. And then, as you can see, there's also, uh, I put in 10, set, uh, 10 sets of questions, or one set of 10 questions with one set of the answers and another set of the explanation of the answers. So the explanations go into into a lot of depth. Obviously, this could be done a little differently, but this is just an example and a test for now. I hope this could be utilized in the classroom one day because I know for myself, I think I would, uh, I would love to have had, uh, you know, love to have been able to study what would be on the test exactly, because you know sometimes kids can overstudy. They might and that's when tests can be a little iffy uh, because I might study multiples of 10, but the test was on multiples of 20 and we only run over that one day. So it can be a little hard sometimes. I think this would help students be more motivated to learn the, 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 the stuff taught in the classes and help them get better grades. All right. Well, all right, thank you and have a great day.